All right. So, looking at my stage, I've created, I can just use the eyeballs here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five um, movements of the clouds. Just because it's the end, I'm going to go ahead and do one more, just one final movement of the clouds. But I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. And then hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, move it over to my stage. Now I've done every panel, every keyframe from my rough storyboard. But now if I animate it, so I have my timeline here on my stage, and if I say, with my timeline options, make frames from layers. And then I set it all to 0.3 seconds, just as a test. Though I know I have more specific timing I'm going to use. And then I hit play, and it will loop through forever. And I hit tab, so I'm not distracted. Then at the end of the animation, all of those things that were knocked out just pop back in what's called a jump cut. And that's a little distracting. So I have here in my storyboard that I want to set it to reset, to go back to the first panel by growing back the candy. So I want it to kind of grow. So to do that, I'm going to be a little uh, different with how I use the program. So first, I've seen that. I see what it works. I see what I need to do. I'm going to go to my stage whoops, and my timeline files, select them all. I have 30 now. Hold down shift, select them all, drag them down to the trash. Then I'm going to close the timeline with the view options. Hit command zero, hit command zero. Okay, now everything's steady. Now I can deselect. Actually, so instead of deselecting the merged, I'm going to start using these as new assets. I'm going to move this under the clouds and then deselect. I'm going to make the clouds a lot less opaque now and move them again. This is going to make my life easier. So this is basically a new background now. And then what do I need to put on top of this background? I need to turn this off for now. I need to select these different attributes, right? In their final form. So let's see, it was this, 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 and this. All right, so I'm going to select all of those. This is just building assets again duplicate them, and then move them all the way up to the top. So now I have new things to play with. I've got all of these. And I want to move them individually, but if I was feeling lazy, I could just select them all and move them together. So I know this is where they need to end up, so I'm going to put that into a folder. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to move them all down, the entire folder. Oh, I'm missing the cake pops, though. Aha. So let me try this again. So again, it's all about organization, really understanding what you have. Where are my kick pups? I might not have made a duplicate of it. So there they are. So I might have to uh, duplicate this and rearrange them. And that's annoying, but it's not impossible.
All right, now I'm going to take all of these. Duplicate them. Move them to the very top. Turn on my bare background, right? Put them into a folder. Duplicate the folder. And then move them all down and out of frame. Let's say like this. And then I can tilt them all a little bit too. But I know we're going to land on them looking like this. Wrong one. All right, so what I need to do is now build backwards up to the original state. So I'll start with this one. And Command-0, we're going to make sure we move the clouds. The clouds are moved. So now they're starting to grow in. In fact, I could probably even go a little bit lower. So I'm going to make another duplicate of it. And then I'm going to move them even lower. Because I want them to feel like they're growing. So maybe like that. Okay, and then I say, Option, hold down Option, Layer Merge Visible. Command A, Command C, Command V. Save. So it now goes from this to this. Now deselect, delete the merged, turn on the next one. Option, up, oh, gonna move the clouds. Been good about not forgetting that each time. So I gotta go to my topmost visible layer. Option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, paste. So now I have them starting to regrow. Deselect, delete the merged, move the clouds first thing. Now I duplicate it. I'm going to move them up a little bit more. And maybe tilt them a little bit. Kind of creeping up organically. Okay, option. Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, paste on the stage, yep, so far so good, deselect from the assets, delete the merge layer, move the clouds, make a duplicate, grow them up a little bit more, option, Tilt them a little. That'll work. Option, layer, merge, visible. Command A, Command C. Paste it into the stage. That might have been too much of a, well, we'll see. It's moving a lot to the left, but. And then let's see if we can go to our original. Um, I think I need one more. Okay. 
Okay, and I gotta move the clouds. Always moving clouds. Topmost layer, option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, paste to the stage. If this is the first video you watch in the playlist, none of this will make any sense without what came before, right? But this is what you spend most of your time doing with your animation. So I'm setting it to reset. And now I can go to my final frame, which is this, and just move the clouds. And then option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, paste. Now here's the trick. In order for you to have a clean set to reset, you want to go to your last frame on your stage, and then your very first frame on your stage, and just the last thing to move in fully are these cake pops. And annoyingly, there's a little bit of debris with the cake pop, but I'm okay with it. We don't need to have it be perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna save my stage, and I'm going to deselect that merge layer. I'm gonna save my assets that gave me all of those frames for the stage. So if I ever needed to recreate something, Everything is in here, even though there's a ton of options, right? And now I'm done with my assets for now. And I go to my stage. And now I'm going to output my final timeline, my final animation. So I do that by going to Window, Timeline, go to the, the Timeline Window Options, Make Frames from Layers. I'm going to open up my screen grab which showed me the timing. And so I'm going to start with the first four being at 0.35 seconds. So a little bit longer. Then I go to 0.3412. For This is all to get that drop to feel more dramatic. And then 0.15 for the next two. Then it goes back to 0.3 for the next four. Just holding down shift to select multiple. Okay, then this one's going to be 0.3 as well. I'm going to actually set all the rest to be default 0.3. Just play it quickly. Yeah, the growing back works pretty well. So the only ones I need to speed up now are all these creature ones, which are usually just two frames. So I'm going to make these double time, basically, 0.15. And maybe actually this last one, which kind of hovers a little bit, I'm going to make this just 0.1, which is about as fast as you should animate. 